Hey, you wanna know why water safety matters to me? Did you know that black kids are drowning at three times the rate that white kids are? In the US, 64% of kids do not know how to swim. And according to the CDC, 10 people die from drowning each day. And one out of five of those people are between the ages of one and 14 years old. And out of the one to 14 year olds that die, majority of them are black. Now you're asking, why did I give you that statistic? Well, here's a quick history lesson. In this picture, you see a large number of white people mobbing against a small number of black people because at the time, the white men or white people believed that the beach was only for the whites, that the blacks weren't allowed at all. So after this, Martin Luther King Jr. came down and hosted a protest in St. Augustine as a rebuttal against the blatant injustice. And shortly after that protest on June 11th, 1964, MLK was arrested. And I must say, he was arrested in the most smoothest way you can possibly get arrested. But anywho, one week later, 16 or so rabbis did a demonstration along with a group of black and white protesters who decided to protest at the Monson Motor Lodge and Restaurant. This time, the protesters jumped in the white-only hotel lodge pool to stage a swimming. Then, as you see in this picture, the owner of the Monson Motor Lodge, James Brock, poured acid into the pool to potentially harm the human beings with the intent to get them out of the pool. That girl that you see in the picture is Miss Ford, who is an older lady now, but she was 17 at the time of this picture. Within a month or so after the story hit the news headlines, made it all the way up to the president at the time, which was President Johnson, and he signed the Civil Rights Act. And I stated all of that to say, historically, we weren't given the same opportunities to learn how to swim or to swim, period, um, due to the systemic racism. So that's why water safety and drowning prevention programs mean a lot to me. And with that being said, do y'all remember that video that I made a while back before this whole COVID-19 when I was saying, what's going on everybody? My name is actually irrelevant. All I want you to do is to support the Team Kareem Memorial Foundation. This was developed by my good friend, Miss Arkeisha, um, after her son unfortunately died in a, uh, on a field trip, they, he was left unattended on a poolside or at a pool um, and the staff was unattended and he unfortunately drowned and lost his life. And with that being stated, after that, she um, de dedicated her life to create this organization to provide you know, free swimming lessons and um, other services related to preventing um, childhood drowning and etc. So you know, with that being said, the program and the organization provides or highlights uh, effective supervision, swimming lessons, pool fences, uh, and alarms that's preventative for you know drowning of, of the kids or drowning period around the poolside, CPR, and et cetera. So a way that you can support is you can go online and you can donate, and that would be great, and that's amazing, but there's also two events coming up. These two events are the Team Kareem Memorial Walk along with the Team Kareem C Gala and Awards. Well, we successfully did the walk in a social distance way where everyone did their walk around their neighborhoods and posted pictures via social media showing how much miles they, they walked in their Team Kareem Memorial Foundation shirt. But coming up, we're gonna have the Team Kareem Memorial Foundation Gala and Awards event. It's gonna be on September 5th. And I know the whole COVID-19 was slowing things down, but supporting this event and supporting a great cause. And we, we will definitely be uh, practicing the social distancing with the COVID-19 guidelines. And the, it's, gonna be, it's just gonna be fun. It's gonna be filled with fun, var uh, a various amount of things that will be happening, inspiring um, speakers with food, music, raffles, more. Um, I'm gonna be doing some live painting there. So make sure you come and check it out for sure. Also, um, I'm asking y'all for two favors. There's two favors that I want from y'all. I need two things. I need y'all to come and attend, so buy a ticket. I'm gonna have a link in the video. Make sure you buy a ticket, purchase a ticket. But I also want some more entertainers. I want some more um, people to join the show with me. So I'm gonna be doing live painting the whole event. Um, but I also want a poet. I want uh, some dancers. I want some singers if you can sing if you're a public speaker um, If you know anything about you know going through the struggle having faith um, If you lost a child or whatever it case should be if you can speak on that motivational speaking um, If you have any one of those skills if you have any type of talent um, that can go towards this event 
and and inspiring you know the parents the mothers the fathers who lost their child to excuse me drowning then um, you know, make sure you come out and let, reach out to me or reach out to Miss Arkesha, who is the CEO of the Team Kareem Memorial Foundation, and uh, let us know. But besides that, September 5th, make sure you come out and support. If you want to be a sponsor, if you want to do donations, please reach out to me or Miss Arkesha, and we'll lovely and gladly and gratefully take those sponsors and donations. Click on the link. There's going to be a link on the website above the video or below it or in the caption. Um, and I'll have another slideshow of it as well in the video. But anyways, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Share this. Tag three friends. Um, love on yourself. Love on your kids. Be blessed.